Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, July 26th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. There is a lot of news today, no time for any witty, at least in my mind, opening remarks. And as it's Friday, we better get into it. So shall we? The police are investigating a strong arm robbery that occurred at Forest Drive and Young's Farm Road on July 24th. The victim reported that three unidentified black males demanded money, then assaulted and robbed him of his wallet, taking $300 and his bank cards. This was a very heavily trafficked road. The Maryland State Police arrested a 37-year-old man from Gwyn Oak, Maryland on felony assault and gun charges following a road rage incident in Anne Arundel County. The suspect, who brandished a red handgun on I-97 near I-895 on July 17th, was arrested without incident. He does face a mandatory five-year prison sentence if convicted. And watch your speed this weekend. Nearly four dozen police departments across the state will join the state police this weekend to crack down on speeding drivers. This high visibility enforcement aims to reduce crashes and improves road safety. Excessive speeding contributes to over one-third of all fatal crashes nationwide. Drivers are urged to follow speed limits and allow more time to reach their destinations. And yes, Anne Arundel County is participating, along with Prince George's, Baltimore, Queen Anne's, and of course the Maryland State Police. Sephora has opened up a new store at the Annapolis Town Center, and this is the 12th Sephora in Maryland and the second one in Anne Arundel County. There is also a Sephora Outpost store in the Coles right across the street from the Town Center. And as we've told you in the past, Tate Bakery and Cafe is under construction where Brio used to be. No Mexican Grill is still working on getting open, they said at the end of July. That's going to be where Bonefish used to be. I'm not sure how I missed this a week or so ago, but the Anne Arundel County Public Library on West Street in Annapolis has introduced a new driving simulator. Available for free to anybody 14 and older, the simulator helps users practice driving in various conditions. It includes features for learning to drive a stick shift and simulating inebriated or distracted driving. Library is going to hold an open house on that August 23rd. And I got to get over there and check that out, man, because the library just gets cooler and cooler every single day. I'm not sure what to think about this one, but Southwest Airlines is abandoning its open seating policy in favor of assigned seating and premium seating options. The changes are set to take place sometime next year pending FAA approval. Southwest will also add red-eye flights and other amenities such as faster Wi-Fi and larger overhead bins. They do say that this is what customers want, and I'm not so sure. I suspect this devil will be in the details, and this may be the end of Southwest being considered a true low-cost carrier. All right, let's look at some events for the weekend. This weekend in Annapolis, you can catch a screening of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, at the Smyrna Park Library. That's this afternoon at 2 p.m. More movie choices tonight at SOFO. That's the South Forest Drive Business Association. They're holding a free movie under the stars with the classic African Queen. This is in the parking lot by Grump's Cafe down there by Hillsmere. Later tonight at Caliente Grill, it is a free salsa class and social dance. And if you have never been to one of these things, this is a wild and fun night. And also on Sunday, they're going to be spotlighting Peruvian cuisine. So you want to check out Caliente this weekend. The Wildberry Farm Market returns this weekend from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it's a great family-run farm on St. Stephen's Church Road. They say it's got a Crownsville, but I think that's just kind of a mailing address because it's very close to Route 3. So I'm going to call it more of Gambrel's. On Saturday, the Annapolis Family Day Festival is going to be held at Bates Athletic Complex from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And that was a lot of fun. They had it over at Pitt Moyer last week, and it was just an absolute blast. If music is more your thing, the Kelly Bell Band is going to be performing at Quiet Waters Park from 6 to 8 p.m. also on Saturday evening. And Dinner Under the Stars on West Street. Sliding into Sunday, if you missed Caliente Salsa class on Friday... 
You can join one at City Dock from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and that's part of the Art and Public Places Commission Concert Series. Again, that's on Sunday evening. And, of course, you want to be sure to catch our local business spotlight this Saturday at noon. This week, we chat with the St. Anne's School of Annapolis alum, Baram Tavakoli. He founded a tech website called Wager Pager. Today on Canines and Crosstracks, we meet Zodiac, a two-year-old French bulldog. You want to listen to our spot now and then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for some irresistible photos and fingers crossed a video or two and get all of the information on how you can adopt them. And again, don't forget that we have our daily newsletter that features only the top local news stories of the day. We do send it out to your email inbox at 7 p.m. every night. That's 366 days this year because it's a leap year, all without a paywall. It's perfect for keeping up with the weekend's news since we don't release a DNB on Saturday or Sunday. And here's a link right here in the show notes for you. All right, that's it. Now it is just time to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I do hope that we add some value to your world. And if we do, Please make sure you leave a review somewhere or tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. It's Friday. The weekend is here. Now it's time just to say have a great weekend, be nice to others, do something fun, and keep shopping local. Now hang tight. DCMDVA weather is here, bringing the only locally forecasted weather report you should care about. And of course, canines and cross treks, so do hang around for that. All that's coming your way in just a minute. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting MacMedics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. MacMedics is an Apple-authorized service provider. MacMedics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. Mac Medics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit Mac Medics in Severna Park or Latham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call Mac Medics at 410 757 MAX which is 410-757-6227. 410-757-6227. Or visit them online at macmedics.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA Weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone. This is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, July 26th, last Friday in July 2024. And it's time for the skies to clear and the humidity to go down today through the weekend before conditions start to get hot and muggy again, starting maybe next Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Look for highs today. In the mid to upper 80s with a few 90 plus degree readings possible, but dew point temps will be in the low 60s and that'll feel like fall compared to what we've had for a while in terms of humidity levels. And there will even be a slight breeze out of the north today to help the cause with more sunshine and relatively lower humidity expected to stick around this weekend with temps staying in the mid or upper 80s to possibly lower 90s across the area with the next threat of rain likely next Tuesday or so as temps and humidity levels go back up as we close out a very hot month of July 2024 on Wednesday. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DCMDVA Weather on Facebook and X each day for updates, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather-informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. 
Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. It frees energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. That can only mean one thing. We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Crosstracks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher standards. Man, Annapolis Subaru can't get any better. I was coming in here today and there was a car right out there that said, free, take me. It said complimentary car right on the back of it. It was a blue Outback. So you're taking it home? I am. <laughs> I am. Is that okay, Billy? Um, uh, John, I believe that you're referring to one of our complimentary loaner vehicles. Oh. Well, that is an awesome park, though. It is. I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not going to be, like, just hopping in and on the way home today. But <laughs> Well, you can still do that. I just don't know how, you know, until the police come get you. <laughs> yeah, John, we know where you live. True. And you're going to bring this uh, crazy French bulldog after me, I guess. Totally a, crazy. A Isn't he so playful? Yeah, Billy, before yeah. you came in, we were playing with him and he is happy. He keeps wanting to go greet your customers right outside that door. I'm so. sure he does. He I mean, really this does. Is, this is where any dog would like to get adopted to. <laughs> That's exactly right. A super right. dealership. That's Plenty of it. treats, lots of other pups. Yeah. So we have Zodiac today and he's two years old. He's That's a male. a silly name. It's silly. There's really no like short name, name for Zodiac. Zodiac. Zodi. Yeah. Zo. Zoe. Diac. Diac. Yeah. No, 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 well, yeah. unless you guys are adopting, you probably don't need to figure it out. But That's if true. you want to, if you want to change the name, we can for now. But so he's super beautiful, isn't he? He's got these like tan colored eyes that matches his fur, and he's already exhausted and laying under the desk. He's done. He's done with us, right? But um, just yeah, out. so we got some good pictures and you did get some good video to share. So that's going to be good. We did. You His definitely want to check it. Walking in and out of the office. Hey, Kelly, I saw on, I don't know if it was on Reddit or something, but somebody suggested that they had a, an animal that was on their last legs at home mm-hmm. and they didn't want to like take it to put it down and they wanted it to die at home. And they were talking about cremation. They said the SPCA does that? Yes, we do. So know? I know. How about that? So it even if deceased, it's, though, no, it it doesn't have to be because um, oh. we do euthanasia. Oh gosh, um, okay. If it's if it's needed, um, but we also do cremation. So if your dog or animal or pet uh-huh. happens to to pass away at home, um, then you can always bring it to us. And then we have options. We do have you know, there's jewelry and there's different urns and the um, nice do. carved boxes. So there's a lot of options there. And even if you choose not to get the animal back, um, you know, then we can do a group cremation. That's awesome. That's a great yeah, little service. I mean, I, I mean, it's a depressing that. service to think it is. about. It's but. a sad one, but a needed one. We're there for the community if you, if you guys need us. Well, that's good. Zodiac just decided he wanted to go into the executive washroom. He's trying. To- that's right. Maybe Zodiac <laughs> checking needs out some the water. Digs. I'm going to go grab a Subaru bowl, which is over there. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of Subarus, here's a, here's a question. I'll put you on the spot here. Do you have any idea? How many 40-pound bags of mulch can fit in the back of a Crosstrek? I'm going to go with, so seats down or up? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, I just man. saw a picture you on Reddit. You ruined it, Billy. Come on. I just want to know. <laughs> you got to know. It's a, you know it's, I'm gonna let's say down. Because down. Down. most likely it's down. In a Crosstrek, it has to be down. I'm going to go like 37. Very close. 30. There was a guy on Reddit. That, and he did that posted it. and he was oh, pretty excited about funny. it. Nice. Does he have a? Picture? He does. Look okay, excited. so he does have the seats down. Okay, yeah, there you seats go. Seats are down. So he's the That's set. Cool. He's not counting the seven that you can fit in the front seat. Maybe he had a passenger. I, I, again, he might I don't have had Zodiac with passenger, him. You know, <laughs> Zodiac know. picking up the seat. But uh, you That's know, it's impressive. I, yeah, I mean, he was pretty excited about him. Look at this picture on Reddit. I want to see the picture of him after he laid all the mulch. <laughs> Exactly. Unloaded and loaded. How excited he was after that. Just wipe that smile right off that face. This speaks to the uh, carrying I, capacity. I like it. If you if you need the cross trek for something like that, you can definitely fit a lot of mulch in there for sure. And the other thing I saw with um, Subaru is doing is they partnered with, um, oh gosh, what's the name? Uh, Hip Camp, which I didn't know what they were, but to develop 10 
U.S.-based road trips. Really? Subaru North America did. Wow. And it's, they're pretty cool. And they're they're all EV friendly. Okay. So you don't like, uh, here we are in uh, Nebraska. And, <laughs> and we can't leave. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to be in Nebraska forever. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's like the Blue Ridge Parkway, the California coast, oh, the nice. Chihuahuan Desert, which I never realized Ooh. existed. In Austin, San Antonio, Santa Elena Canyon, uh, Olympic Peninsula in Seattle, Utah's Mighty Five, Route 66, of course, Sierra Nevada, Grand West, Great Lakes, Grand Canyon State. Pretty All cool. sounds like pretty good places to drive a Subaru. I've not really done a true road trip since college. Yeah, I did it once in college where I flew out to Colorado and then drove back like to Michigan and then back to Baltimore and then Virginia. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. Yeah. It, How many days? Uh, it was like four or five. Oh, you See, were I'd moving. Love, I would love to just to get on and say, okay, I'm going to destination. I'm not sure how I'm going to get there. Yeah. And just sort of, sort of go and, you know, do I feel like driving for two hours today? Okay. Maybe. Well, let's hang out. Do I feel yeah. like driving for 12? You need I that think tent. You should, John, I think you should tent. do it. Well, this is the last couple of days of Aogo. That's adopt, right. Adopt one, get one for uh, for the cats and oh kittens. Oh, man, that's still going on? For the cats and kittens, yep. Has that been going good? It has been going great. So All we right. have a lot of kittens that have been going home together with the sibling, and, uh, which is great. So they can go home and, and run crazy and have a bunch of fun with each other. They never have to say goodbye to their sibling. Isn't that nice? That's cool. Yeah. That is cool. That's cool. So, yeah, that goes through the end of the month. And if you adopt one, you can get one without any additional fees or anything right. like that. And uh, and it's also for the adult cats, too, that are bonded. Right. I mean, bonded for the eternal cats. kitten season. I know. Uh, it like doesn't seem to end. It doesn't. We're seem, on it's year, like lights on the bay, right? We're on year four <laughs> of kitten season. And then the puppy punch, of course, is coming up we in a couple of weeks. That was, I mean, we were talking about that a while ago and it seems so far away. Oh, now wow. it's, now it's, it's almost like here, three, August 25th. Almost, well, it's a week. Blitz. It's a month away from today. Right. Are you guys ready for it? We are ready. We're ready. We got some great food trucks that are going to be coming and, um, and we just have to hope for good weather. Do you jump in with the dogs? I did a couple years. I didn't last year. No. Right. So it's new in Subaru World up here at 149 Old Solomon's. Anything? Um, I did see that your front office that we have recorded in the past mm -hmm. is occupied by somebody that's not you. It's not me. Which means that you must be like selling a bunch of cars that you need yeah. to have somebody else to We're still, take over your office and kick you back here to the executive lounge, executive yeah, still, wing. Still growing, still trying to, uh, to get our volume uh, as high as we can get it. Um, still have a bunch of cars. So Subaru is uh, got plenty of inventory. We've got a bunch of cross tracks in stock right now. The new Forester is our lowest day supply of cars because they're so awesome. People keep buying them. We have uh, we still have 2024 Outbacks that are available with 2.9 financing up to 72 months. Um, the scents are still great. I mean, they're all, yeah, we got plenty of inventory. We have plenty of incentives. Trade-in numbers on uh, on used cars are still really good. So it's a, it's a great time to buy. It really is. I'd heard that the... Uh Outback is going for a redesign in 26 model year. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hoping to see it um, when, when I end Vegas, up in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be, uh, I don't know if we'll actually see it, but hopefully we'll see some pictures and drawings and stuff some like that. Some different stuff. Yeah. But uh, from what we've heard, it's uh, it's going to be pretty cool. As we wrap up July, it's the last couple of days of AOGO. Uh, AOGO. SPCA mm -hmm. and uh, AACSPCA.org which is where you want to go for there. And, Again, with lots of uh, foresters and cross treks and uh, great deals to be had here at Annapolis Subaru, uh, 149 Old Solomon's Island Road or AnnapolisSubaru.com. And if you have 38 bags of mulch, go with the Forester, maybe the Outback, because it, <laughs> it, it, it ain't going to work in the cross track rebound. I mean, you could always make two trips. That's, That's true. That's right. It depends, <laughs> you know. So there's out. no oh, chance that Zodiac is going to be available when the puppy plunge comes, right? I don't think so. I don't think when the puppy plunge rolls around, I don't think we're going to have any puppies that we've talked to available. Yeah. I mean, this guy is like, he's, he's, he's cute. He's inquisitive. He's curious. He's chill. I mean, he's just hanging out here at my ankles, not biting them like a chihuahua would. He's frogging it too. Don't you like the way he lays all legs out? <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I turned the fan on, he seemed to like that. Yeah, he was very happy because when I first put him in the car on the way over, he was snorting as they all do. So anybody who's interested in this particular breed, you have to realize they do have, they will snore. They snore a little they bit. They snore and they sometimes have those breathing things 
I won't say issues, but you have to be careful. Well, when he gets excited, he snorts. Yes. And also in the hot weather, they have a harder time with the humidity. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. But Zodiac is here. He's a two-year-old male French bulldog. And how long has he been here? He's only been here since the 14th. Okay. So he's a, a newbie. Well, come on down and give Zodiac a forever home and come up to an Apple Subaru at 149 Old Solomon's Island Road and give a Subaru a forever home. And you can check them out with all their inventory at AnnapolisSubaru.com. And to get Zodiac's application started, AACSPCA.org will do it for you. And uh, I guess next week? Do it again. Let's run it back. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming. And determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.